How would you spot a Neanderthal if you saw one on a bus? <laughs> um, yes. He'd uh, be the one who comes and sits next to me. <laughs> 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 uh, nearly always. <laughs> yeah. He's the one already sitting next to me because I'm married to him. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the humiliate my He's, husband show. Can, yeah, he doesn't watch this. It's all <laughs> right. Oh, fine. OK. <laughs> he doesn't really understand it. Is, uh, is, he, uh, is he the one looking at the wheels going, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a... Has they got the lump and great forehead or is that the Cro-Magnon? Well, the point is, actually, we'd be they very look, hard put to tell the difference. Exactly if they the wore same. a T-shirt, admittedly, you'd say, well, that's an unusual thing. That's person. our producer. Yes, but if you imagine... <laughs> if, 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 you, if and I dream of it, we shaved and dressed our producer one day, um, <laughs> put her on the bus... Um, <laughs> she might look like a normal person. That's, yeah. uh, the point is that they... But so far, we haven't. No, really. we've not managed that yet. He looks, he looks like... Um, is that... A model. That's a model of how they might look. Unfortunately, we think of them as incredibly stupid, but they had religious rites, they buried their dead, they made ornaments. At one point, we were one species that diverged, and these two branches of humanity lived in Europe. In fact, Neanderthals lived in Europe for four times longer than we ever have. They had a long period of living there. And did we cross over? Where we did cross over, and no-one quite knows why they went extinct, whether we bullied them, whether we outsmarted them. Oh. They were stronger than us. Right. Um, we invented the bus, though. We did invent the bus. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't invent the bus. You can't give them that one. But about 1% to 4% of our DNA <laughs> is Neanderthal, so we crossbred. So were there ever, uh, for instance, homo sapiens who married Neanderthals? You imagine well, a wedding like that. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> it's going to be a punch-up in a car park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go to Basildon any Saturday night. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Uh, yeah. Sorry. No, uh, I just want to tour again one day. Of Norfolk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the fact is, uh, yes, you're right. I mean, there was interbreeding, um, and they, yeah, there are many theories. Some think that we Homo sapiens, as it were, kept Neanderthal girls as sex slaves, but it's very possible it was the other way around, because they were stronger than us. But certainly there was a lot of interbreeding, but for some reason they died out. Probably the first genocide, first of many that we proudly <laughs> executed over the many centuries. Yeah. Maybe we been. just teased them to death. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't take it anymore. Wonderful. I know I'm ugly and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so politically incorrect. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I can run fast. Oh, you're really good. <laughs> Why are they called Neanderthal? Is it an anagram? They... <laughs> 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 Probably is. <laughs> anagram of leather dant. Leather dant. <laughs> yeah, leather dant. But no. Um, uh, that, that's a period in time, isn't it? No, it's not actually. It's just mm. simply a, a, a valley it. near Dusseldorf in Germany where oh. they were found Neanderthal. There were many other. Can you name other species? I do like our... the idea, though, of having Homo another Australis. species of, of human that is just a, a little bit stupid, but, you know, friendly, <laughs> yes. and lived with us and were quite happy just to do all the, all the jobs and stuff for well, us. Well, it's Brave New World, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, the I gallons. like the idea of it, I have to yeah. say. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not a nutter or anything. No. But I like, I like the idea of... Who wouldn't mind, either? They'd be very simple and... and, and could be your sex slave. obliging. Yep. Yeah. 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 Can well, we I go back to sort of the, the picture of the, the, the man that looks like a gnome? Oh, yes. Where's, the the where's producer. Yeah. yeah, I don't really fancy that as a sex slave, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not being overly fussy, I just think. <laughs> yes. Bearing in mind, though, Jimmy, this is before the invention of electric light, you know, it's gloomy. Yeah. <laughs> be, be in a cave. It's, it's cold. cold. You'd There's be in no a cave, fires. it's cold. <laughs> Have a few beers, you'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he looks, he's quite a friendly looking bloke, isn't he, really? For, for a Neanderthal? Yes, <laughs> uh, definitely. But if you gave uh, him, and when I say him, I mean a Neanderthal man, a tracksuit and a haircut, uh, he would attract me more attention than any of the other nutters on a bus.